Cinema allows us to see all kinds of things that we don't see in normal life. Usually that's used to show us nice or exciting things, but sometimes we instead are shown some messed up stuff. These are the most disturbing movies of all time. For the majority of its runtime, 2007's Inside isn't much more disturbing than your typical slasher, but it's the final moments of this taut, terrifying film that earns it a spot on this list. Tetsuo the Iron Man is chock full of upsetting imagery, with some of the most unnerving and hard to watch body horror segments of all time. The low budget 1986 horror film Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer captures the inner workings of a deranged serial killer probably better than any film before or since. The Human Centipede 2 takes everything that the first film did and cranks it to 11, delivering basically what we all thought the first film was going to be when we heard the premise, for better or for worse. Necromantic is a film about a couple who are eagerly and morbidly interested in the intersections of love, sex, and death. I'll let your imagination fill in the rest of the details on that one. The Poughkeepsie Tapes is one of those films that the internet just loves to debate about whether or not it's real. And while it is decidedly a work of fiction, it contains imagery that is so disgusting and nightmare-inducing that I, for one, am glad of that fact. Audition makes it on this list almost purely due to the demented bait and switch the movie pulls, acting like a romantic drama at first only to become absolutely demented in the back half. Cannibal Holocaust is a movie that is famous for being disturbing, and for good reason. An early example of using found footage to enhance the realism between the exploitive nature of it all and the actual real animal abuse, it's not an easy watch. Salo, or the 120 Days of Sodom, explores hierarchical power structures in perhaps the most cruel and dehumanizing way ever committed to film. And finally, a Serbian film explores numerous unspeakable taboo subjects and isn't afraid to show them in excruciating detail. And when I say unspeakable, I'm not being hyperbolic. 